all the places nobody goes I wanna teach all the things that nobody knows I wanna grow wings, leave the coop, learn to fly Bungee jump from the tallest building in Dubai I wanna fly around town in my UFO I wanna eat real food, not the GMOs I wanna make moves, call the shots like the boss I wanna love like I never lost Welcome back to Desert Wind Days, and I am here with the amazing Wisdom Soul. Welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm honored. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank it's you so much. It's been a while since I've seen you. I know it has. Yes, and I know there's a few things that we're going to talk about, exciting things that's happened in your life, so I'm just so excited to have you here today. Excellent. Well, I'm glad to be here. Thank you again. So, Miss Wisdom, you are a poet. And you're also an actress. I am. I'm also a host, entertainment VIP celebrity host. I also am an active healer assistant. Okay. <laughs> you have been writing and performing for quite some time now. When did you first get started? When I was nine years old. That was the very first poem that I ever wrote. It was a... a a friendly argument between me and a school friend and it was about being mixed with Native American and whose tribe was number one oh. and so that was my first point or my first poem was uh, my tribe's not number one your tribe is not number one we are all number one yes uh, and what tribe is that um, I actually am a combination of a few tribes um, just got my DNA results back but mainly um, African tribes you know oh. Nigerian and Bantu and um, Conga Around uh, uh, as well as many, but as far as Native American, mm -hmm. I'm Halawa Saponi okay. and Arapaho. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice to know, isn't it? It I'm, is. I've been doing my ancestral lately, also, so it's nice to to learn all this new info about yourself, where you come from, who you are. Exactly. That is awesome. Exactly. Awesome. <clears throat> as a child or as a young lady, which writers inspired you the most? My most favorite, definitely Maya Angelou, mm -hmm. Nikki Giovanni, um, you know, the list goes on, but yes. those are the two that stand out the most that have really made an impact on my life. Yes. I became a certified life coach because of um, Iyama Benzant. Oh, so, yeah, okay. one of the other ones. You know what, speaking of um, writers and poets, you mentioned a couple of my favorites also. Um, do you think, um, as a culture, that we're not passing it down from generation to generation we're losing it and um the next generations are going to forget about who maya angelou is you know and that's a great point that you're bringing up as far as passing it down i believe it's a very active community still in the spoken word realm and i do believe those of us who um are still following in those footsteps, have mm -hmm. passed it down to our children. So it's it's very big. Oh. It's a lot bigger than most people know. Right. However, there is a lot that's lost with the new, with social media, with mm -hmm. Instagram, your Insta famous. Um, the work isn't as um, heavy duty as we put in the work. Mm -hmm. We were in the streets, you know, right. stomping the ground and, you know, uh, what we call spitting, spitting mm -hmm. on every corner and sure. spitting wherever we could and showing up in coffee shops popping up just mm -hmm. out of the blue. Um, today's society doesn't do that kind of work. They do because they get on the Instagram. One poem, or right? One poem, Insta or, famous, right? <laughs> exactly, right? And yeah. they're trying to compare themselves to someone that's done the hard work, right? Because it, it, it's just like being a filmmaker, a songwriter, a singer. It's not just getting up there singing, exactly, or it's not just getting in front of a camera acting, exactly. It's all the stuff that goes on behind the it scenes. It is all the energy. It is the feeling. Um, it's great to be famous. It's great to have all the Insta followers, but really right. what kind of impact are you making and how do you feel about that uh, poem that you're spitting, so to speak? Right. You know, do you feel it truly or are you there for the show, which is what I feel is more, it's more the show now. It's more the entertainment rather than right. the the grind, the grit of the craft. Mm. You know, we're the griots, the storytellers, the peacekeepers. I don't, I feel that's been lost somewhat. Yeah, because I strongly believe that we're here for a reason we're Indeed. we're placed right here i could i could be sitting somewhere else right now instead of right here in this chair with you right but i was meant to be here exactly but i believe that the people that are missing all the stuff that you went through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's because it's just temporary 
they're not there for the long haul right. or for the purpose that you have as a poet. I believe that um, the purpose isn't as defined with a lot of the youth today. You know, what what, what is the purpose for you mm. standing on stage and sharing your art? So when I say, when somebody asks me about a performance, do you perform? I don't perform, I share. Mm. Uh, and that's how I write. I'm right. writing what is um, spoken to me. So I say what is uh, to me, through me, or through me, mm. to me, to share with others. I love that. So, mm. and, and that is something that I hear from um quite a few talented artists that we've had on the show. It's about sharing right. and receiving. Yes. Because you're up there, you're sharing, but you're getting something back from them definitely. also. Most so it's definitely. not just standing there giving a performance. Right. I, I totally agree with that. Okay. Tell us how the name Wis Wisdom Soul came <laughs> about. So Wisdom Soul came at um, as I started to share publicly. You know, I started getting booked for performances, and everybody had these really cool poet names. So um, it was actually one of the hardest times in my life. It was a very, very um, challenging, very hurtful journey at that mm. point in my life, and that's where a lot of my really powerful poems came from. But I also felt like I need one of these cool poet names. Mm. And at that time, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm pretty... I would say, I'd like to say I'm very spiritual. And at that time I was, you know, reading the Bible, you know, um, just reading scriptures, you know, I read a lot of books. So um, reading the Bible and um, I was looking for something, I don't know, just some mm -hmm. peace and just basically opened, you know, wherever, wherever I open the book, that's where I'm going to read from. And it spoke to me and it was Proverbs three. And I mean, you know, when you feel spirit speaking to you, mm -hmm. you feel it, you feel mm -hmm. it in here. And, and uh, so it was Proverbs 3, happy is the man that finds wisdom mm. and gains understanding. So wisdom is spoken as a female, but the way it was reading, the way it was coming to me, felt like I was being told that, that that's your that name. Was... That's... And there's been times I've tried to run for wis from wisdom and say, who do I think I am? I'm, I'm not wisdom, you know. But when whoever God is to you, right. you know, God, Allah, Elohim, Jehovah, what, whatever right. you call spirit, the universe, energy, mm. um, the, when you know you know, that speaking, you know. That's and so, um, like I said, you, you can't run from wisdom. You can't run from the almighty, you know. You can try. And I tried, and I tried. <laughs> so that's how it came to me. And then it was confirmed three days later, um, and three is a powerful number for me. I do numerology. And uh, three days later, confirmation from somebody of a, a different spiritual path, um, Nation of 5%, also gave me the breakdown of, just out of the blue, the breakdown of, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and said to me, pointed to wisdom, and said, that's you right there. Mm. So the three-day confirmation was kind of like, whoa, that was, you know, an epiphany type thing. Mm. Um, and like I said, every time I've tried to run from it, it keeps grabbing me back. And I believe that the words that come through me and to me that I share with others, I feel like I've earned that now at this point. Um, but the one thing I do want to make it clear is... Uh, Sometimes wisdom is knowing you don't know anything. I know nothing <laughs> at all. So that's the greatest wisdom. But um, I added soul to the end uh, just because there was another poet going by the name Wisdom too oh. at the time. But the way spirit works, that poet stopped using the name. So, but it stuck. Wisdom, yeah, soul. Wisdom, soul. This stopped. is wisdom and I share from my soul. Wonderful. So wisdom, I always like to ask this question from our mature talents. And I call I our mature that. talent. Seasoned. Yes, seasoned. <laughs> Thank you. Um, especially being a female mm -hmm. um, mature talent, what advice would you give someone um, that wants to um, to um, share, to do what you do? It's funny. I, I guess it could be kind of a cliche like Nike, just do it. But, you know, it is a, it's scary to this mm. day, as many years as I've been doing this. There's still that fear tactic there. So you get on the stage and you, you know, you freeze right before you go on. And, you know, but the thing is, the best way to conquer those fears is to jump in front of just it and it. just do it. Um, what I would recommend to get those jitters out, not to be just keep practicing over and right. over and over. It's OK if you make a mistake. It's OK because nobody else knows what you wrote. That's true. Nobody has any idea if that poem, that word was not supposed to be there or you forgot a sentence. They don't know that once you get out of your head, get into your heart and mm. feel it, it'll be all right. That is true. I love that. I love that. So um, you also um, started an all female, you created an all female um, hip hop showcase. Yes, I actually, I was a partner. Okay. With that, I can't take all of the credit oh. myself. I definitely want to give 
uh, the gentleman who pulled me into that, his name is Jay Waddy. Oh. He's out of Chicago. And um, it was a collaboration. Okay. And we did that. And that was many years ago. But um, and, and, and that's not actually, I guess you're putting it out there now. You're yeah. not too many know that. And one of my things today, you talked about the youth today, do not study the craft mm -hmm. and um, think of the path of those who came before you. How did this start? Right. Who started this like Maya? And you know, the ones right. we look up to, who did this? When did this come about? So, you know, yes, I did do that. It was great. Um, a lot what, of things came out of that. And what, I, I know, I've done events. I um, have a company that's predominantly about the full figured industry. Mm -hmm. What was it that? What was the the um, gist behind that? Why was that inspired? What was that? Why was that necessary? Well, for one, I mean, hip hop is is huge, you know, mm -hmm. obviously, and there's a lot of messages that come in hip hop. And there's the voice of of the woman, the voice mm -hmm. of the female. We had a lot of strong, powerful females at that during that year in many realms of hip hop and not just step into the mic and rapping or spitting poetry or there's, you know, vocalists. I mean, yeah. everything is rap. Rap is rhythm and poetry. And so I infused everything that went into that, uh, the hip hop movement, art, uh, graffiti, um, oh. and all the women who I knew that were excelling in these areas pulled them all together and mm. we presented this show. And it was an amazing show. I believe we had 700 to 1,000 audience participants so that's it was awesome. it was a great show and how many women did you guys have performing 10 Ten, that's Ten, awesome uh, which is a powerful number as well yes <laughs> that's awesome i'm just loving all this information because you know what there's so many people out here that want to get involved and 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 don't know where to start yes so you're giving them a lot of wisdom today thank you well i i will say you know i really want to i can't stress it enough do the work do the work. Go out. You know, do the scary stuff. Do mm. what scares you. Go into a cafe and just stand up and mm. start doing your thing. You know, I mean, and that is that is the battle of the fear. Or shadow someone first. Exactly. If, you, if you're that afraid, too. shadow Get a mentor. someone. That's true. Right. And I do do um, what we'll be doing in the new year, uh, performance workshops. Oh. You know, stage presence workshops and oh, helping to overcome that, you know, mm. fear. Again, you're always going to experience it. It right. still happens. but. Right. You know, I still do it. I get up on them. Once I touch that mic, it's it. <laughs> it's awesome. over. It goes that away. Awesome. <laughs> so, Wisdom, you have given us a lot of meat to chew on today. <laughs> okay. You even got our director all excited Excellent. over there. He learned something today. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> tell, tell us about one of your most memorable, memorable performances. There's so many, but the one that, you know, my favorite was um, I went on tour, a Southwestern tour, um, and I went through Dallas, and Dallas showed me a lot of love. Definitely mm. shout out to Dallas. They are awesome. Sandaga 813, I highly recommend to everybody to visit. It's a live music place that um, a lot of top artists go there. Mm. Chocolate was there. Just people pop in. Uh -huh. You know, um, Robert Glasper, just a lot of people pop in. And um, I was there on my little poetry tour, mm. you know, and uh, of the radio station who interviewed me that day. Um, said, hey, come and meet us over here at Sandaga, this great place, you know. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, I thought I was going to hang out. Well, I was a little bit late because I just finished up another uh, performance. But when I got there, the host of the um, venue comes and grabs me at the, they were shutting down, but they were like, he was like, no, no, no. Wait a minute. This young lady is here. We've been waiting for you all night long. And I'm like, I'm just wait, thinking wait, I'm hanging out. About? And so he, and he knew all about me. And he said, you know, this is a poet that's traveling from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. We're blessed yes. to have her here, you know, please give it up. And the love they showed me was so amazing. But the highlight of the night, my very, very favorite ultimate artist is Erica Badu. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I love her. I got to go by her place too. I've opened up for her a couple times. But in this um, certain instance, as I was approaching the stage, the drummer, I, I operate on a vibe. So the drummer must have felt it right away and looked at me and started drumming. And I felt his vibe and his energy. So I told the band, follow him and I'll follow you because I do perform with the band that's uh -huh. the type of poet I am and then later to find out that that was well, some of the players were Erica Badu's band members oh. and the drummer was her drummer yeah oh, okay. so it may I, yeah that's the highlight you yeah know? so that's one you know um there's many you know of we course. took over the uh 
Arizona light rail. <laughs> Me and some friends from Detroit to, did poetry. Um, People were not getting on their off their stops because we just one night took over. There's a video that went viral of it. People were recording, and so those were my two pretty oh, main highlights. Amazing. Yeah, you have a new highlight that you I've seen the buzz about. <laughs> You're just. Yeah. And Media Magazine. Media Made Magazine. Media Shout Made out to Media magazine. Made Magazine. Yes, thank you for the love. Awesome. Oh. Future. Oh, what better <laughs> with Future on the magazine? Exactly. If you don't know who Future is, you need to look him up. The Future. Tell <laughs> us about this. Well, the magazine is so, I mean, they've supported me in, all, in my journey and um, years throughout the years of my history in Phoenix. Um, and my poetry and my acting and, um, you know, just really have done a lot for me. And they said, we want to feature you. Mm. And uh, sorry, I don't know the page by heart. Um, we want to feature you. That's okay. I don't want you to read the interview. Okay. I just want to talk about gonna this. open it up for you. There you go. Um, we want to feature you. And I said, sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And it's really funny because that just came out. That's the January issue. And um, the day I received it, I, I was kind of not having a good day. It was one of those low vibration days and I was really feeling down. And all of a sudden I get this text message with the magazine and this word wow. create page spread. And I mean, it really warmed my heart. It, wow. it, you know, just thinking about it makes me a little emotional because of the love and the support they share. So I definitely have to shout out the that love is and appreciation. That is awesome. Media me. Made Hip Hop make Magazine yeah. featuring Wisdom Soul. With get Keisha. your copy. Yes, get your copy. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. That's 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 big. It is. It's that huge. Is. It's a national magazine. Yes. It's also in all the prisons, and uh, they've got a couple special projects that they're working on. This. It's a it's a pretty big deal. Yes, that is huge. That is huge. What's next for Wisdom Soul? <laughs> But if I tell you that, <laughs> you just got to keep following. <laughs> We're going to do that. <laughs> Actually, I do have a few things coming up as of today. Um, you know, if you're in the Phoenix area, once you get done today, um, the Million Dollar Mingle, I mm -hmm. do partner with them. It's a very high, um, high profile celebrity. Um, they do a lot of events. Today mm -hmm. is the holiday party, oh. downtown Phoenix at Golden Margarita. So I'll be hosting that oh. for the first VIP hour, seven to nine. So there's that. And then I'm actually going to be... Uh, um, featuring in a play coming up with a tribute for Martin Luther King, oh, okay. um, relating to Martin Luther King and his love for jazz. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and Aretha Franklin were very best of friends. Mm -hmm. So that's the play. It's going to be Martin Luther King weekend, um, uh, directed by uh, Doc Jones. And MLK, he loved the music, didn't he? Exactly. I mean, I they were the best of friends. Yes, so, yes. but him and, um, what's her name? Um, what's the gospel singer? Um, she just had a movie out too. You're talking about Aretha. Not Aretha. Not Aretha. Um, I cannot think of her name. My grandmother loved her. I am bad. But he loved the music because yes. he hung around with yes, a lot of musicians. And that's what the play is about. It it is reflecting on his life and his love. Mahalia for jazz. Jackson. I'm okay. sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. He yeah. loved the music though. So. I and mean, that's January, mm. the whole MLK weekend. Okay. And so and we're at several locations. Okay. Yeah. That Keep is, following. All yes. the information will be there. Yes. <laughs> Please follow. <laughs> so um, you're um, you're in the magazine. You're you're doing plays. You're hosting. You have your personal things that you're go you're doing. When do you have time to squeeze anything else in there? I'm a Gemini. We keep many irons in the fire. We <laughs> like a bonfire. I'm creating a bonfire. But um, I also am working on uh, two books. Oh, okay. I have uh, one is pretty much done. I'm just inserting pages in where they need to be. And the other one is actually in writing process right now. Does Arizona, as far as for the hip hop industry, does Arizona have something like a hip hop magazine? Um, as far as, it, you know, a lot of things now are digital, everything's mm -hmm. online, but they do have a huge hip hop movement. Oh. Uh, the Arizona Hip Hop Festival actually was yesterday. Yeah. Um, and that happens every year mm -hmm. around that time, you know, so definitely shout out to uh, Justice mm -hmm. over there who actually started out the same time I did as far as in poetry and really has it down in John Blaze. I don't uh -huh. know if you know John yes. Blaze. <laughs> yeah. Kathy Blaze, John Blaze, <laughs> any correlation, but uh, 
you know, John Blaze actually is the one who introduced me to doing my own radio show to, with um, RadioSupa.com. Uh-huh. Shout out to TJ Supa. Yes, yes. So, we know TJ Supa. Yeah, that, and that he, that's the movement right there. Wonderful. You know, that's what, you know. What so, you know, since I have you here today, will he perform something for me? <laughs> I will share something. Will you, you share that? something? Okay. All yes. right. So, <clears throat> I am poetry. My walk, talk, and thought is poetry. I even dream poetry. I love to scream poetry. Poetry dances between the fine lines of my mind just to find the right kind of unwind on. I vibe poetically. Poetry is my groove, poetry is my funk. Like a junk food junkie, poetry is my junk. Poetry is my therapeutic mentor, my next level, so I stay level-headed, my third almighty. Breaking down the significance of three, three being me, significantly, first God, second family, third almighty poetry. Now that's pretty funky to me, that's love to me. And bringing it back to threes and threes and tries and triangle the angle in which I speak, each point represented, one of being mind, body, and soul. Without being in tune with all three, life would be simply pointless. So come on, come on, take my hand, take my hand to a land to be free. Follow me, follow me. I am poetry. I am the love, and I am the wisdom soul. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I loved it. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for Thank you for sharing. Allowing. <laughs> so where can our audience find you? <clears throat> you can find me on all social media platforms. The one, T-H-E-O-N-E, Wisdom Soul. It's all one word. That's Instagram. Um, on Facebook, it's actually Wisdom Soul Poet. I believe that if you Google Wisdom Soul, uh-huh. there's a couple of us. There's a band as well, but I'm one word, Wisdom Soul. Uh-huh. Wisdom Soul Poet. Everything should pop up for you and you'll find me. Wonderful. Yeah, it was such you. a pleasure having you here with us thank today. You very much. And thanks for sharing with us. Well, thank you so much for having me and allowing me to share. It's been a pleasure and an honor. Thank you. And thank you for joining us here today on Desert Wood Days. And we will catch you next time. <laughs>